So I'm just waiting for the phone to ring. I said she's going to be calling. Some of you are probably like, well, I know what you're saying because I've gotten your faxes. Why isn't she coming in the studio? Just calm down. So there's some things that per- perhaps it's just better that we just talk on the phone. <laughs> Art, I hope you're ready with whatever kind of extra buttons you have to be ready with. It. If you leave the room while I'm talking to Whitney, we're going to have to fight. Okay, I'm, I'm here. Okay. With your finger on the on the pulse of the curse words. Oh, Whitney's there. Well, you mean Whitney? Yes. All right, you guys. First, there was Mary J. Blige and J-Lo and Mariah Carey. Who else did we talk to that we thoroughly luxuriated in that we, wow. Some of you might say Janet, but not the same. I don't know why, but I could take that or leave it. I would love to have it, but if I didn't have it, it, damn. Oprah just celebrated her 49th birthday yesterday. I idolized her. But even Oprah, like, it's not the same. (laughs) Take it or or leave it, you know what I mean? Okay, let's go in. Whitney, Whitney, Whitney. Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my Lord. Have I waited for this day? Have you? Well, yes, I have. Haven't you? Whitney. Yes, dear. Absolutely. I know it. I don't believe that I've ever met you in my entire career. Ain't that funny? You talk about me all the time. And you are top billing. Is that why you talk about me all the time? Absolutely. You, me. you don't even know me. Uh, but the, here's the thing. I talk about you in two ways. In the, in the way that the media talks about Whitney, yes. but I always talk about you as being one of the greatest voices of our time. Mariah Carey is another one. You two do two separate works, but you have a voice that is just unbeatable, Whitney. I love you, Whitney. I thank you for that. I really do, because I know, in spite of everything, you play my records. I do. I know that. And I also feel like you and I have something in common. We do. Um, well, yeah, besides, besides the, you know, the motherhood thing and, okay. and, and so on and so forth. Whitney, your, your new CD is out now. Yes. The first week it did very well. It's not doing quite as well right now compared to perhaps what the record label thought it would be doing. Well, it's never what you thought I should be doing. Okay. It's never what you think I should be doing. It's never what you think you say I'm doing. It is what's going to happen. You see what I'm saying? I don't want my album to peak too quickly. I don't want it to peak too quickly because I want to go to the summer and uh-huh. the fall. Okay, I understand. So there is a, a plan. Okay. You don't, you understand what I mean? Like you set your schedule on a day-to-day basis. Uh, who you going to talk about? How you going to talk about them? Yes. Well, that's how I do. So we play, we love the song, The Dear John Letter, here on the show. Yes, ma'am. And um, speaking of letters, you no longer have to write to Bobby. Bobby's out of jail. Bobby's back home now. Yes, baby. You ain't, I don't you, you get on this. Hold on. So you got the 411. You should know. I want to make sure that I have all my stories straight. <laughs> <laughs> yes, baby. He's home. Well and intact. Do you regret Diane Sawyer interview? No. Why should I? Well, it didn't exactly show you in the best light. You don't think so? Well, you don't, you don't show yourself in the best light. People still listen to you. Yeah, but I'm on the radio every day. Yeah, we, see, we, don't, we just don't get to see your face, but they should know what you look like. I understand that, uh, Whitney. Perhaps one day I will have a TV show, but in terms of what I do, yeah. when I'm not shown in the best light, I guess mm-hmm. one of the best things that I love about my career is, is that there's always tomorrow to come back. And, see, and I love about my career uh-huh. and my music speaks for itself. Yeah, well, it does. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I am the second wife most interviewed behind Monica Lewinsky in the history of interviews. I'm surprised you're second to her. I mean, as far as... You know, I mean, I'm not, like, too cool about coming behind her, but, you know, it's all right with me because, um, you know, I got a lot of mileage from that. And I think that people, basically, the people that I talk to that have made comments to me uh-huh. were very proud of me because it was a moment. See, I'm not one for sitting down and talking to people. I, You know, you can talk all you want about me, but my mother always said, don't try to find a lie with truth, you know, because then you make it worse. Because people like to lie for whatever reason they like to lie on you about. Right. However, um, I thought that it was a major step for me to sit with Diane Sawyer, the biggest interviewer in the world, and talk with her and give her what um, basically um, I thought I could get, you know. And I think people enjoy that, seeing me and seeing um, me growing and being a spiritual person and that I have a family that loves me and cares about me and protects me. And um, that was the um, idea, Well, Andy. yeah, no, it, it was very entertaining. You thought it was entertaining? Uh, yes. Ah, you're funny. Uh, yeah, I mean, please, me and everybody, we, we were all watching together. I recently... There was a very funny moment. 
Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. From from start to end, it was quite entertaining, Whitney. Well, I'm glad you entertained because you watched it, didn't you? So, so Whitney, as as far as you stand with drug use, is there drug use going on at this present time? Who are you talking to? To you, Whitney. You. No, you're not talking to me. I'm a mother. Only my mother has privy to that information. You talk to your child about that. Don't ask me no questions like I'm a child. You talk to your baby about her, what, what she gonna be uh, confronting and what she gotta deal with. And uh, and. Don't ask me like I'm a child, because I'm not a child, Wendy. My child is a little boy, and I will talk to him yeah, at drugs. Don't talk to me about that Don't talk to me about that shit. But listen, Whitney, what, I, I, I will talk to my son about drugs, because I have don't been me, where you the world the speculates day. where you don't are, me, which is... Uh, I was a full-blown cocaine addict, so well, I... I problem, not mine. Move on. Well, you know, that was my problem, Whitney. Did you help yourself? Did you ask God to help you? And No, I, ma I managed, thank God, because I have a good man. And, and, so, and so thank God I was able to just rise up. Thank above God, it Wendy. and quit and all I ask is okay okay and you on Diane Sawyer also mentioned that um You'd want to see receipts behind the drug use. Which, I know, yeah. man. If I spent that much money, somebody better give me the receipts so I get a tax return. Well, speaking of spending money, so recently I was hearing that you were trying to trim the budget, which, by the way, Whitney, I thought that this was something... Where the hell are you get your information from? Who's calling you and telling you? Um, uh, well, I got this story from a gossip named Steve Hers. You ever hear of him? No. Well, like you said, gossip. Yeah. Steve yeah. Hers is a West Coast correspondent, and um, we we uh, I communicate with all the different gossip. Uh, it's it's what we do, you know. Uh, yeah, we're going to have a gossip lunch, huh? Something like something like that. <laughs> anyway, Whitney, yeah. uh, they're saying that um, you're doing some massive budget cuts. I'm doing massive changes. And you know what? Yeah. I, I wanted to let you know that this is something I think is good. This is a good Whitney thing. You like it. You approve. Yeah, I really approve. Oh, Whitney, please. Listen, that we're saying that you were uh, you cut your mother's. Um, See, you don't know what the. F Allowance. You don't make me curse on the radio. I'm, I'm trying to be, you know, come on. Well, Steve was saying it was from about like $1,600 a week to about $500 a week. I you to kiss my Okay. He and also. Can anybody else ever think I'd do that to my mother, you low down dirty He also was letting me know that Michael, Gary, and your sister Donna, who run your nippy company, are also uh, experiencing the slashes across the board. They were saying that you have a 24-hour-a-day bar on site at your studio that you're now cutting down and you're not making your personal chef available to people to just come up in your house and just order food and stuff. I think that's all good. that ever happen? I don't even know what the f you're talking about. Well, I have no idea what you're talking about, Wendy. How is Bobby Christina doing? Growing and being a beautiful young lady that God sent her here to be. Yeah, she's nine now, right? Yes, yeah, she is. Mm. When your husband was um, incarcerated for those few days, what types of things do you tell her concerning, like, do you say, like, daddy's away visiting Boston? Or? I don't really talk to her. Retard. She was she's a stead patient. She's a child who has intelligence. Okay. My child is smart. No, what I'm I talk to shut your mouth. I talk to her like she's an intelligent human being, okay? And I give her just as much as she can handle for a nine year old because I'm her mother, okay? And that's how we deal with it. Never mind what I told her, but she know the deal. Well, a lot of the, a lot of parents a lot of parents whose spouse or what have you goes through something, a lot of, particularly because that was only eight days, would have either taken them out of school for the eight days or taken them away from watching T V to you know. No, see I do line. what I do to protect my daughter, Wendy, just like you would do to protect your son, okay? All right. You are very defensive, Whitney. I have to be, Wendy. You talk about me every f***ing day. Well, Whitney... Or every other day. Whitney, you, you keep yourself in the headlines. No, Wendy. Y'all keep me in the headlines. I mind my business. I try to maintain what I got. I want to know what I'm doing all the time. I don't give a shit about what you're doing all the time. As long as you're healthy and God is best in you and you're doing the right thing and being a decent person, I can handle that. When's the last time you talked to Robin? About a week ago. <laughs> because I know that you and Robin were girlfriends from when you were growing up. And, and we're still friends, girl. Okay. Um, will she be working back with you, or is she still... Wendy, 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 Wendy. Yeah. Robin's not doing anything. No, Robin don't work for me. She'll work for me now. Moving right along. Uh -huh. Okay, so okay. so okay. Our, our king of R&B, is he working on an album? Bobby, is Bobby working on an album? Yes, ma'am. When do you think his album will be out? Uh, very soon, Wendy, I'm sure. A numerologist came on the show the other oh, week, hell. and we we ran you guys' numbers. And for what it's worth, the numerologist said that you and Bobby are so right for each other. Honey, he, he's so right. He's never been more right in his life. That's the most rightest thing you ever said. Yeah, thank you, Whitney. Uh huh.